52-year-old Paul Mason making jewellery at home today, a home in which he used to be a supersized prisoner. Before the gastric bypass operation two years ago, he weighed 70 stone. Now he's down to 24 stone, but still carries a heavy burden. I still feel trapped with the loose skin. I've got excess of six stone in loose skin. And what's going to happen about that? It needs to be removed by surgery because um, it doesn't matter how much you tone up or exercise, it still won't go away. Can you show us some of the skin? I'll show you some, yeah, it's quite visible on my arms, as you can see. Paul Mason's weight problems are at the extreme end of the spectrum, but he's in good company. Latest figures show that one in four adults here in Suffolk is technically obese. That's with a body mass index of over 30. This is the season, post-Christmas, post-New Year, when the magazines are full of so-called wonder diets, promising big weight losses very quickly. You just have to eat sensibly. Reduce all your carbs and your fat and everything, and then eat more fruits, eat more veg. I try and cut down and eat sensibly. And, you know, don't worry about the fab, you know, these fancy diets and things. And this time of year, and that's everywhere, isn't it? You know, lose weight, do this, do that. And, no, I don't think there's anything what will work apart from what you put in. Just healthy eating, exercise, rather than all the fads that people stick to for a few weeks and then go back to their previous eating habits, I suppose. Live Well Suffolk, funded by the local NHS, gives free help on healthy eating and getting active. Small, realistic changes in what you're taking in, in, in the, the food choices that you make and how much you choose to exercise in terms of your level of physical activity. And achieving that balance is the key to long-term weight loss. Paul Mason's days of round-the-clock eating binges are behind him. He hopes surgery to remove his loose skin will transform his mobility. In the meantime, he's anxious to raise understanding of compulsive eating disorders and help others who battle with their weight. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Ipswich.